Hello and welcome to this special Junk Journal with me episode. Thank you so much for 5,000 subscribers. It is unbelievable. And to celebrate this, I have a giveaway at the end of the video with two really great prizes. So stay tuned for that, please. I'm using here one of the digital kits. Uh, this is from RT Mays. I'm sure a lot of you know her Etsy shop. I will link it down below. And this kit is called Dragonfly Dreams. So I had to purchase this one. <laughs> and I thought it was very appropriate to use a digital kit for this episode because RT Mays is sponsoring one of the two prizes at the end for the giveaway. So as you know, I don't usually work a lot with digital kits, but I thought in this case, let's just do it. And I'm going to challenge myself to use some of these things. And these are by far not everything that is in the kit. There is so much more, but I didn't print everything out yet. I didn't have the time. And I just printed the ones now that I thought I might want to work with for this episode. I'm also going to be working with other things for other pages, but uh, I'm going to start off with using, using those. But first, I am going to actually take out all of the double pages that don't have anything on them yet because I'm trying to control the <laughs> final width of this book. And I believe I am ending up taking out... 18 pages that kind of seems a lot but it might actually be 18 so I think that's gonna help it not to bulk up too much I still have plenty of pages left to journal on so yeah I'm just giving an account to see how many maybe it's not 18 I don't know maybe it's 9 and it's 18 half pages or something like that. it doesn't matter anyway so I took out quite a bunch as you can see everywhere where on both Sides, there was nothing I just slipped it out so that's another advantage of having this flexible binding so now I printed off two of their full page like kind of like a background page and I really like this one so I decided that I wanted to use this on a one of my pages as a background and then when I measured the height I realized that I would have cut right through that beautiful dragonfly which I didn't want so I had to remeasure to cut off, cut off part of the bottom instead, with, which also had a, has a dragonfly, but I will be using that differently later. So I'm just inking up those edges and I'm gonna glue it down. And I just adore this kit. I must say, I'm, I'm definitely gonna print out the rest and use them as well. As I said, I'm gonna link it down below. It is beautiful. And any of you who know RT Maze's kits, you know how amazing they are. And she has such a huge variety it's it's really nice so now I wanted to use this tab punch which is also linked below to punch out this um, leftover dragonfly and obviously make a tab out of it because I wanted this page to have a tab to sig signify that it's a special page because I will be journaling about this milestone and so I'm just inking that up and then I'm going to just use my glue stick to glue that on the side there and thankfully it's not going to disturb the page that's behind it with the pocket. And I plan on writing on those lines that you see there on the bottom right. I think that's perfect for journaling. And I also wanted to use a little dangly thing on it. So I'm going to punch a hole through that tab with my tab punch, which is also going to be below in my Amazon links. And I recently had so much fun making these bohemian bead charms. I followed a tutorial from Angelica Schlager, which I will also link below. Angelica is one of my friends that I met through YouTube, who also lives in Vienna. And um, she has uh, a lot of really good tutorials on her channel, so please go check it out. Um, she, her, her style is very different to mine, 
but I just adapted it but I totally used her method and I'm so happy with it I had so much fun with these so now I'm just punching that hole and I'm gonna put a silver eyelet through that just to be sure it doesn't tear and I also like the look of it And then I wasn't sure yet how I'm going to attach that bead and I chose this one with the blue one and I thought I would do it with this safety pin and so I'm gonna try that first but what I didn't like is the way it was dangling it didn't really hang straight down so I didn't really like that so that was not an option so then I tried a bulb clip and that would have been okay but was what bothered me was that the bulb clip was brass and the eyelet was silver and I'm not a huge fan of, of that <laughs> so I thought I would give it a try to have some cheese cloth and um, to just tear that into a thin strip and then maybe try to put that through the bead and then through the eyelet and just tie a little bow. Let's see how that works. And I like that the best. I think that's really cute and perfect to signal that this is a special page and next I wanted to yeah I wanted I had printed this on my printer this thank you for 5k and I uh, wanted to use this little tag from the kit with brave wings she flies um, I think that's perfect for this page and so now I'm just cutting out what I had printed inking that up and now I'm trying to figure out how I could place this little tag and I thought maybe I could fold it over the top and not cover up too much of that lady that I really liked but I kind of thought it was too many dragons flies up there on that top corner so I didn't really like that also I wasn't sure where to put this thank you because I didn't want to put it over my journaling spot so I thought okay if I cut it down maybe I can do something else with it but all the elements are quite big and so that was very challenging on this small page if I wanted to write on it as well so I'm still trying to figure out where the best place would be so I thought maybe over that other dragonfly and then when you, if I could attach it somehow that you could lift it up, you could see the bigger dragonfly under the smaller one. Then I thought maybe I could put the thank you thing on the inside of that, of that tag or underneath. But I didn't really like that either. <laughs> the elements were just too big for this page. I was kind of struggling with that as you can see so then I decided okay if the elements are too big let's try to cut them down so I'm gonna separate these words and see if I have more flexibility with those so then I had to re-ink those cutouts Okay, now I'm gonna try again how to fit everything. And this time it worked better with, you know, with that I could spread it out a bit like this. I think that worked good. And so now I'm just gonna glue everything down. <laughs> Red eyes, gold lights, moving clouds, 
the walls You're looking like a movie star But I don't know just what you are Seems like you're top to be on the floor You're looking for And next I'm going to start journaling and I'm um I can read you what I wrote So I wrote never would I have thought a little over a year ago when I started my channel that I would find such an amazing community here. I'm forever grateful because I really, really appreciate what we have here. And, and I know there's a lot of regular viewers that comment regularly and it's so special. And I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So now I thought, well, since I have this other printout of a background, I thought, let me just try to use that for the opposite page. So I was trying to decide on one of those two dragonfly images. I kind of like both, so I was trying out both of those. But in the end, I did like the other one better. So I did the same thing, I inked it up, I glued it down. And then I thought I would use one of these cute wooden, uh, wooden, <laughs> paper, um, what are they called? I forgot now, spools? No. You know what they are for, for, oh God, what is the name? I can't remember now. I know the name, but I forgot. <laughs> anyway, um, so I'm just trying to choose one of those and I go with the right one, I believe. Yeah. And so I thought, let's just um, wrap some twine around that and add a little button as well. And this was just going to be a decorative page without any writing on it. So I'm just going to wrap this off-white twine around. Always love it when there's more elements and more texture on my pages. But of course all of those bulk up your journal, so that's the price you have to pay I guess. And now I'm looking for a, a flat white button where I could secure the ends of that twine. Now I was trying to do it the way Maud had done it in her one of her tags in her Happy Mail, but somehow it didn't look as nice as when Maud was doing it. <laughs> I'm sure she did something differently. So I didn't really like it. So in the end, I decided to just turn it around and make a double knot you're looking like a movie star but i don't know just what you are seems like you're top to be on the floor you're looking for a kind of queen the baddest one you've ever seen and then i just cut off the excess but i thought it needed something else especially on that top half it was just too plain, so I took out my little box of small embellishments and I saw these cute envelopes which were in Maud's Happy Mail and I thought that would be really cute if you would just stick one of those in there. And I thought I might use that piece as well, but um, I ended up not doing that, it was too much. So I was trying to think what could I put into the envelope and I saw I still had some dragonflies in various sizes from other happy males. So um, yeah, so I have them here. So I'm checking if the smallest one would fit in that little envelope because that would have been perfect for the spread. And it doesn't fit in all the way, but I end up um, using it anyway and it just peeks out a little bit, which is actually even better. So after inking that up, I'm just going to stick that in there. And what I didn't do in the video, but what I'm going to do actually still off camera is I'm going to glue that dragonfly into the envelope and the envelope onto that, that um, 
paper thingy that I still can't <laughs> um, remember the name for. Um, so now I'm just going to, so I put a hole through it, I'm going to put a hole through the page as well. Luckily there's nothing yet on the back side, so it wouldn't matter. And I'm choosing a brad to put through that, to put that, um, I'm just going to say wooden spool now <laughs> on it. So I'm just going to go through that and onto, uh, through the page. And I could then later cover that up with something. And now I'm just going to add that dragonfly in the envelope. And I saw that, um, yeah, when I was turning the page, it kind of fell down already. So I didn't didn't want to lose it. So I thought it was bit, would be better to just glue it on. So that spread is finished as it is. I'm very happy with it. And then I thought, why don't I do another prompt from our prompt list? So... I definitely wanted to include Maud's tag from her Happy Mail because I didn't do that last time. And I thought it needed a neutral background to make it really stand out. So I'm just taking some of my coffee stained paper and after inking it, I'm gluing it onto the page. And even though Maud's pocket tag was pretty on both sides, I, yeah. It kind of pained me to glue over that butterfly, but um, yeah, I decided to glue it in with some double-sided tape. And then she had some, some tickets um, in there, and I wanted to use that bigger one to, to write the prompt on, so I just inked it the back side because the front was, was already inked and now I'm looking for which prompt I could use so this is a prompt list from Demi from D journals from Instagram and myself that we had put, put together for the summer and I'm using um, favorite summer quote and so I looked one up and the one I liked best was Smell the sea and feel the sky, let your soul and spirit fly. And it's by Van Morrison. And I really like it. And I also wanted to put the title on the front. And I wanted to also put a string through the top little eyelet. So first I'm looking for a label that I could write the a title on. Because I thought if I would write it directly on that tag, you wouldn't really see it because that tag has writing on it. So I needed something to stand out more. So I'm just kind of looking for one that would be big enough that I could write three words underneath each other on. And the two biggest ones that I found was this one. And there was one more that I actually would have liked better, which is this one. I really would have liked that one, but it was just too wide and I didn't want to cut the frame off. So I ended up using that brown one. The brown one has a bicycle on it, so I think that's nice for vac for summer somehow. So I just inked that up and then I'm just going to hand write on it favorite summer quote and then I also add 2019. And then I wanted to also include um, some of some of Maud's um, stamped tags that uh, like die cut and stamped tags that she had included in her Happy Mail that were in these pockets. And I didn't see until I'm just picking it up now in this video that she had actually stamped on these tickets around the world, which is amazing because um, one of my when I was using one of the other prompts a few videos ago, I said my dream vacation would be around the world trip. So how amazing that she put that in there. Um, it's incredible. Okay, let's talk about what you've been waiting for, the giveaway. 
So there's two sponsors. One, as I've already mentioned, was Artie Mays, and Artie Mays is sponsoring four free digital downloads for the winner. And that will be one prize. And the other prize is from the company called Suthi. I will link both of those down in the description box. So Suthi makes really, really amazing leather journals, like really beautiful. Please go check them out. And the winner will be able to choose their own leather journal. And some of these journals also have quotes on them. They have different colors. They're absolutely stunning. So thank you so much to both Artie Mays and Suthi for sponsoring this giveaway. And so I'm going to be choosing the winner um, in a week. So your, your entries are welcome until June 27th, which is exactly in a week. To enter, you have to leave a comment with the word giveaway. And you need to comment about your dream vacation if money and time were both not an issue. And I will announce the winner, uh, winners <laughs> here on June 27th. So what I will do is I will have a random name picker program. And the first name I pick will get the Suthi leather journal. And the second winner I will pick will get the Artie Mays digital download. So both amazing prizes. Hope you all join this giveaway. It's a really nice thing to do from, from both of these. So yeah, good luck and hope to see you here in the next video on Saturday. Thank you so much for watching and have, a, have an amazing day.